uh, man, man, these guys are frauds, they're liars. Where'd it be like? Where'd it be, where'd it be fraud? Where'd it be scam? Because I'm not gonna lie, I presented some things that make me look bad. Mm. Not some things, a lot of things. Fresh and Fit believed that they were clearing their names by doing a five hour stream, showing us evidence, showing us text messages, voice notes, recordings, and footage from previous videos. I watched that five hour stream, not once, but twice. And it was a lot of bullshit. The more they talk, the more lies come out, and it's proving our point that they are frauds. Phonies. Whatever you wanna call it. If you're new to my channel or you're new to Fresh and Fit, I need y'all to watch that video first. That's the introduction of Fresh and Fit and welcome to part one. So let's start from the beginning. All the drama happened when Abba and Preach posted a video reacting to Abba's interview with Fresh and Fit. They're, they are a reaction channel. They're gonna speak their opinions, their thoughts, and their ideas. They were butthurt. They were really in their feelings. We just felt betrayed because why didn't you call us, man? Or why don't you at least let us know, hey man, we're gonna do this thing here, is it cool if we run it by you, whatever. Like, they didn't call us, so that's why we, that's why we reacted the way that we did. They don't have to tell you anything. This is their business, this is their channel, they do whatever they want with it. Y'all aren't even friends. He was just a guest on your podcast, does not mean he owes you anything. Because Abba and Preach posted that video, some people started to unsubscribe to Fresh and Fit. But the reason why they really lost their subs was their reaction to their video. Our, our, our channel's better than yours, but we get more views than you, we've been on less than you, we work harder than y'all niggas, we cut our hair more than you niggas, like yo, if y'all want to get girls, we get more girls, we get more girls than y'all niggas. Free. Like if y'all really, really want to do this nigga preach is married, probably to a fucking beluga whale somewhere, and y'all niggas talking shit. And all these niggas are forty years old. Yo, yo, all ass niggas too, bro. Like, yo, bro. I wasn't gonna do this. Wait, the, the, the hand symbol. Yo, I was not gonna yo, fucking do this. International. But y'all got me hyped now. <laughs> yo, I know you guys are not talking, bro. My man Abba looks like he got off a camel, hasn't cut his hair in years. <laughs> Dusty as fuck. Yo, bruh. And this is Sudan he roasted on you right now, bro. We you smiling? Yo, I was like, yo, what anime you came from, bro? No. Yo. Nigga looking bummy as hell, bro. And mind you, right? I ain't looking on a nigga, because obviously you know what I'm saying that's his style. I ain't gonna lie, we're better than you niggas, we make more money than you niggas, we got a better fucking channel than y'all niggas, we get more views than y'all niggas. The only thing you guys got on us it's is numbers. you guys been on longer. But I guarantee fucking too, next year, this time, we're gonna lap you motherfuckers. Cause you know what? Thanks. Nobody works harder than us. Y'all dumbass niggas with the same tired back on, same fucking million plaque. We got $200,000 plaques now. And we're gonna get a million plaque. And we're gonna get the other channel another mil to a million as well. And Fresh's channel gonna hit 100,000. Facts. We are better than you niggas. Period. Fuck out of here, man. And we don't pay for I guess they think they're better. I, I don't know how, I don't know what makes them better. Yet, they paid Abba to be on their podcast because they have a following and they're in the manosphere and they have a million subs. You wanted a piece of that. You're not better, my man. You're not better. We took down all the videos where we ins insulted Abba and Preach. We took it down out of respect for them. And yes, they did take down that video. And it wasn't out of respect for them. It was because they were losing subscribers. Their reaction really made them look bad and it affected their business. Now, before they play that video of them apologizing, I'm gonna point out a few things. A lot of people attacked us and said, we didn't apologize to Abba and Preach. We did. We definitely did. We definitely did and we're gonna play it for you guys right now as a reminder. We made a mistake, okay? It is not cool to insult a man's country and or wife live on air. They made a mistake and it's not cool to make fun of a man's country and or wife. So right now, they're not speaking directly to Abba and Preach because they said a man's. And did you catch something else? They said live on air. To me means they most likely have been talking bad about them behind the scenes. We should have kept the disagreement on the topic and not the people. Yep. Okay, smart people discuss ideas, stupid people discuss people. And we made a mistake, all right? So with that said, we apologize. Okay, for talking about his wife, his country, and making ad hominem attacks on them. So there's his apology. We apologize for talking about his wife. Again, not apologizing directly to them. They are speaking to their audience, their supporters, their fans, their followers, the ones that they lost. They are apologizing to them because they want them back. Now, I don't want to skip over this because this is also important. They challenged Preach to a boxing match. It hasn't happened yet. Nothing is happening. Preach is down to do it. 
He's waiting on you guys. We never ran, even though everyone tried to flip the narrative and say we ran. We just played the apology for you guys oh, from our last episode. You're, you're pussies. You're running from Fair Urban Preach. We never ran? We never Those ran? Niggas? <laughs> we never what? ran, man. And I can't fight a man that doesn't want to fight, even though if he's the one that posted the challenge. Why? Well, because that's illegal. If we have a number, he can call us. I've been contacting you. I've been contacting you on the DMs, and you haven't replied. You've seen it, but you haven't replied. You know that. So for that, I know that you don't want none of this. There you go, they're lying to you guys again. And if you watched the stream, they don't ever show text messages between them and Abba and Preach to defend their side. So let's move on to Allende and the whole situation with the VIP party and the break-in. Fresh and Fit threw a party celebrating the milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers on their channel. They invited their supporters. A few of them even paid $500 just to get in. They were promised a big party with lots of women, alcohol, the big shebang, everything that they show, you know, high-valued men, the glam, the money, the cars, the women, was not what they got. There was very few women. They had to pay for their alcohol. It was a failure. And that is undisputable. Everyone agrees. And a couple of their supporters that attended the party wanted a refund. I think the message y'all are putting out. I think that the party, uh, the value of the party was not worth the 500 bucks to be paid. We did a full Q&A with them in the Bro. studio. Why, watch the show, took up to the bar after we hung out with them. Like, we, we made it right, man. Now look, we made it right. And I gotta give them a little bit of credit. They didn't have to do other things to make them more comfortable. They still wanted their supporters to leave satisfied. But by the end of the day, the $500 that they paid for was not for that. One of the supporters actually recorded their private conversation. They sent the recording over to Allende and Larje decided to post it on his channel. And then Larje, that kind of purposely would tell the information from that order so he could make more money, okay? Oh. Because they're gonna pay for girls that what he's going Oh, they're trying to do more on their own than they have. Exactly. But they're pretty much telling them that Allende has their money. Which is a bit confusing because the supporters pay Fresh and Fit to attend the party. And Fresh and Fit paid Allende for his services to create the party and bring the women. That is completely separate for the supporters paying for entry. So Allende doesn't owe them shit. You do. Did, did we all play the Allende thing just so they could see like him acting all crazy emotional? Now before I show that recording, who is he to talk about going crazy and emotional? We Period. Fuck out of here, man. And we don't pay for five. They say that this is the night of the party and the day after. That they came to you, this grunter, want their money back, and you specifically told them, or told them that the reason the party failed was because of me. I oh, am. Yeah. Also, I, when I, let me oh. finish, nigga. Let me finish. Don't be cutting me off. I'm not one of the bitches on the show. You know that. All right? Then you went on to say that the money that they paid you, I have. And that's why you're not refunding it to them, because I have their money. Now, why would six plus people make this shit up? Why would six plus people say that, that you told them this? All together. It was them, they make their fresh was there. Why, why, why would six different people make this shit up? So we don't gotta go back to the with whether or not you told you said. What I don't understand is why do you think that that wouldn't eventually get back to me? Yeah, it might have took over a month to get to me, but now I have several people telling me that I owe them this fucking money. See, I understand that Myron is not a street guy. He said it in his stream. He worked for law enforcement. But one thing you need to know, don't fuck with someone from the streets. Because these are the type of things you're gonna have to deal with. What is that? He said... 1500 bucks to Ayanna Gordon for what he did for the party. Oh, so he, he paid him in full. And yeah, that's his full name right there, man. So, paid him in full. Paid in full. That's their proof showing that they paid Allende and Larje for their services. One, Allende never disputed that. Second, it's for their services. Who's to say that's the full amount that you owe them? Is that the full payment? We don't know, but who cares? That's not the point. That's not what created the break-in. And now here they are in their feelings, upset, pissed off, annoyed, frustrated. Now they're gonna go as far as attacking Allende's character. And they wanna paint this picture of a felon who used to be a pimp and is making girls uncomfortable on their set. Hey, he would even tell, tell, tell us like, yo, I got dibs on her. I want her, her, her. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean what, like, what the, uh, yeah. What, 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 yeah, we started having a dip system, which is funny. You know, I, we gotta take some accountability too. Like, yeah, we'd be like, oh yeah, okay, cool. Well, you know what, that was hot. Maybe I'll talk to her. Which was stupid. Hey, you know what? Yeah. I'll own it. Like, we ain't gonna just sit here and throw it all on him. We did it too. We participated yeah. in it. <laughs> Yo, what was the point of that? You tried to make him look bad, but it also made y'all look bad. Y'all are a bunch of kids putting dibs on these women. My God. So now that we know that they used ABBA by putting him on their podcast and trying to gain their followers, 
which is just pretty normal to do. I consider that cloud chasing. That's business. And we also talked about how they used Allende to get these girls on their podcast because they could not get them themselves. So once they were done with his services, they let him go. And now we hear about Kevin Samuels. Fucking uh, the amount of shit that, that, that was said about fucking Kevin Samuels, bro. It's unfucking believable because Myron is fucking on this motherfucker's balls. He's dying for fucking Kevin to come and make another appearance on the damn podcast. And he's over here kissing his motherfucker's ass left and right. Uh, Kevin Samuels was calling in and saying, listen, you guys can't fucking, uh, um, you guys can't hear the show at the same time that my show, show is going on. It's a conflict of interest. We got to make sure that we keep our time slots separate. And then Myron is accommodating him, but at the same time, he's kicking and cussing up a storm. Yo, fuck this fucking faggot. Who the fuck does he think he is to tell us when to go on and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah. You know, I can't wait till I get more subs or exactly, we get more subs so we don't need this exactly, no more. Exactly. Right, exactly. Because I'm trying to be the, I'm trying to be the voice of reason here. Where's all this coming Right, from? I'm trying to be the voice of reason. I'm like, listen, you know, let, let's, let's be realistic here. Kevin Samuels is the hottest thing smoking. So you need, you need to go ahead and accommodate him, have some respect for the Godfather, and you know, you, you, you work it out. Yeah, why and, can't it just be a right? And, 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 and this guy's response is, I can't wait until we have so many subs that we don't even fucking need him. Well, it's like, hold on, where's the integrity? If that's the case, then just do it on your own, don't need him now. They're pretty much saying that Myron is using Kevin Samuels and kissing ass to try to surpass him. And once he does, he's gonna drop him as well. Now they don't have evidence proving that point, but it's 100% believable because on their five hour live stream, they spoke on John Anthony. Can you answer the criticism from John Anthony's videos? He claimed that you tried to purchase coaching from him and has made numerous videos about you. <laughs> Me and him spoke in 2019, okay? Back then, I was still doing my job and I was learning game. All I gotta say is the potential student has far surpassed the master. Moving on. That's why we don't respond to him. Yep. I only debate my equals to all others I teach. This is coming out of his mouth. See, I watched the stream so you guys don't have to. I'm just breaking it down for y'all. He used John Anthony to get as much information as possible. And once he started doing better with numbers, he dropped him. He dropped him. <laughs> he dropped him. Yeah, he was like, bro, if I see you, if I see you with Myron, bro, it's on site. I'm like, yo, that's my partner. And for the people that don't know, that slang for if I see you, a violence is going to come your way on site. No questions asked. They really are nerds. And it shows because you don't have to explain slang terms or slang words if you're really from the streets. <laughs> just wanted to add that in. And then the infamous break-in. said, we're oh, not yeah. going to continue. It, it's not, that was his not, problem. Yeah. That was his choice not yeah. to continue. Yeah, there was, there was no, no Because you got with triggered, with baby. What the hell? What's going on in here? Oh, what the I this here. What's going on? What? Bang! Door opens. Don't come in. Kara. Don't come in. Kara. Yeah. He's here. Kara. Yeah. Don't do it, bro. What's up? Don't do it, man. You're a little pussy nigga. Don't do, do it. Don't do it. I wish don't come in here, bro. I wish a motherfucker uh, would come to my door. Don't come. Don't. I yeah. wish a nigga would come to my door. Cut, if so you want to, it's gonna be a problem. That's right. Record it, fresh. So now we know. Yep. Now we know Myron Gaines is a fucking bitch ass nigga. We're doing a show, bro. So step the fuck outside, you a pussy ass right. nigga. Come on in. Who's running your fucking mouth, right? Come on in, bro. Who you want me to come, come in? Come on in. Cause you's a fucking pussy snitch. Okay, exactly. You a police calling ass pussy okay. ass snitch exactly. ass nigga. If you open the door, it would be soft and slow. It wouldn't be like a love bang. So just think about the question that I mean, look, I didn't day, man. The door was locked. Or so they thought. Now, they are human. That's something that they believed because they heard the loud bang. That's probably something I would have thought too. But as you see in this footage, from Allende's perspective, from Allende's friend who was filming, that bang he heard was the door hitting the wall. He knocked it off and the, the um, he messed up like the hinge. And that's why so, CS CSI Miami was here, crime investigation. Yes. With the door handle. Which that's on our story as well. And, you and they're not lying about that part. CSI was there investigating. I saw their story. But really pay attention to what they just said. If there was damage to the door, it must have been from the inside because he slammed that door open. Again, from the inside, not from the outside. Which that alone is evidence that there was not a break-in from the outside. And I'm pretty sure CSI Miami told them that. So they said this after the fact. There they are lying to you guys again. These aren't small guys. It's two of them. So I'm like, all right, we got women in here, fresh in here, Chris, it, it's go time. You know what I'm yeah. saying? At this point, we got, I got I to gotta protect the, the spot, you know, because I'm responsible. Have some ladies in the house. We're de Ironically, we're debating 
uh, women need men for protection. Survival? Yeah, survival. And I have to talk about this. Women don't need men for protection. It's nice to have because they do have the muscle and the power and the strength, but women can defend themselves with things like tasers, pepper spray, and guns. They'll be able to protect themselves and their home. But since they're not home and they're on your property and they don't have these forms of defense, a way a woman protects themselves is by running and hiding. I don't see the guys in the podcast trying to protect them. They protected their damn selves. What oh, the shit. heck? Uh oh. Okay, okay. Uh -oh. Right, guys. Right, we already know you're trying to play a role of being an alpha male. Do not pretend to be a hero. Listen, by the end of the day, Myron had the right to protect his home. Allende should have never been on his property. You're a bum? You're what you bum? Got? Look at you! What you got? You're committing a crime what you right got? now! You're what a you bum, bro! Okay. You're a bum! And you know what? It is you're a fucking bum! It. If you're trying to protect your home and if you're trying to protect these women, why are you now inviting him in? So come on in! House. Come on in! You should want him to leave. Obviously, for some of you guys that are saying, why don't you go out there and fight him? And pay attention to body language. That is just important as verbal. Him putting his shoulders down like that shows defeat. Let's go on with the video. For some of you guys that are saying, why don't you go out there and fight him? Guys, you never go and attack a threat where you don't have an advantage. It's two men, just me. And here you are pretending to be in danger. So here you are saying there's two of them and one of you. Why are you lying to these people? We all saw the footage. It was two of them, four of you men, six women, and a gun. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they have weapons. I don't know anything, guys. Yeah. Allende is a felon, for some of you guys that don't know that. Why does that matter now? You are affiliating yourself with a felon. And he's not the only one in the stream you were talking about someone else that you are really close to who's also a felon. You wanna be around these people? You have to be aware that these things might happen. Especially when you fuck with them. You were the only one afraid of him. Because as things were dying down, the other two guys in your house were comfortable enough to be around him. Even the women! They started walking through that door like, uh-uh. I cannot be around these little boys. And I just have to end the video with this clip right here. After a couple of the girls left, Allende and his friend also left along with them, Chris asked Myron if he can walk the rest of the girls down. He sure does talk a lot, but for some reason, he is mute at this point. Um, you want to walk downstairs or what's up? Uh, with the girls or what? Because if, I, I, I don't want to leave them with the girls. We can wait. We can wait like 15. We're good. Are you good? You want to keep their cool. Do your composure. He didn't come inside though. And all these men that I talked about in this video, they are not the only ones that Fresh and Fit use for their own gain. True victims are their supporters. The ones that donate $20, $50, $100, $300, $500 in the super chats. They are the ones that they are benefiting from and taking advantage of. If you're gonna treat women like shit, expect for certain feedback. If you're gonna use men, expect these type of reactions. Part two of the series is coming soon. Stay tuned. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video, peace.